Look at all these goats we still have. Um, I did want to talk about um, kind of some changes the farm is going through. Some new plans that we have. Um, and just some overall things that we're doing a little bit different now. Um, so, I will just start by saying we have lost nine... Oh, the back of my earring just fell off. Um, look. <laughs> it just fell out from under my earring. Anyway, we, um, we are down nine goats in the last few weeks. So, three were kind of a tragedy. Um, I talked about it in a video the other day, but, um... One was a five-month-old baby girl that was actually Iceland, this one right here. Her baby, she went on the other side of the fence way over there and it never came back. Um, so we lost her last week. We had another one. Um, her name was Carol. She had been sick for about a week, but I thought she'd be fine. I pinned her up right um, in this black middle pen with plenty of food and water tons of vitamins and um last week when it was really hot i came home from work and i found her dead so we lost her and then um we lost a buck a couple days ago he, i noticed he was weak one one day he was fine in the morning and then myrtle our bully goat around here wherever she is she bullies everybody she's so mean anyway she knocked him down right up here in this pen and then um he never tried to get back up so he kind of wobbled and he seemed really weak and i found him out in the field for a day so i'd bring him back up here lock him up keep, so he could eat with nobody bothering him and then um brought him up here at night and then the next morning um he was dead so that was three that we lost last week i sold two to a friend um who's kind of starting a little farm not starting to farm but she wanted to get into goats so i sold her two so that makes five. Oh, and then i took four more to the auction yesterday so we have to make decisions around here that um are just in the best interest of my pocketbook and what's best for the farm and we are on a mad mad hustle to pay off all of our debt here I told the kids we're not buying anything that is not absolutely necessary. Um, we eat at home most of the time. Um, we only buy what we need. The kids have plenty. Um, but I just don't want to spend, you know, nickel and dime ourselves, And then um, that money could be used for paying down debt. And then our ultimate goal is probably to buy more land and not be here anymore. So anyway... If this place is good for now. It's probably good for the next couple years. But um, anyway, our desire is to be debt-free. And one way that we need to do it is to whittle down some of these goats that weren't my favorites or weren't serving any purpose. You know, they weren't bred. Um, they just weren't producing on the farm. So I'll tell you about the four that we sold yesterday. Um, and I'll tell you how much I made and how I, that fit into what I paid for them. Did I make money? Did I lose money? How that went? So, I sold, uh, here. See that little tiny baby buck in there? That is Oscar. That was Oreo's baby. He is 13 days old. Normally, I would never separate a mom and a baby. But the mom, um, was part of six uh, does that I bought from the auction several months ago and they just turned out to be way too big for the farm they were wild I could never catch them so part of our plan for her all of them are to breed them um, they have to be producing so she did produce a baby it was a buck we are going to keep the babies and raise them ourselves because I just feel like they'll be easier they'll be more tame they'll be more calm we can kind of you know um we can just make them be the breed that we want them to be more calm so if i can't catch them i can't do anything with them i couldn't milk her um 
and save that milk and possibly sell it because she was literally too hard to catch. She was wild. So she gave us a baby. That was her contribution to the farm. I did buy her for $150. I sold her for $130. And then at the farm, at the sale barn, you have to pay 10, <coughs> goodness, 10 percent commission plus a dollar yardage. So I lost 30 bucks on her, but she gave me a buck. So we will hand raise him so he will be more gentle and will come up to us when we need to do um, treatments and hoof trimming and um, it'll be our kid, my kid's bottle baby. So anyway, I have him in here with two other mamas. This is Penny. She nurses everybody's baby. I just put her on the stand and he nurses her. So, and I bottle feed him several times a day. Karen is up there also. He nursed from her earlier, but... um. She is supposed to be pregnant with twins when I ultrasounded her on June 5th. But she's not getting as big as I want her to. But she should be due the end of this month or mid-next month. So anyway, he's in there with her. He is a little bit wild too. So I'd rather catch him in this little 5x10 pen than 4 acre field. So anyway, I sold his mama. I hated it, but I didn't want to wait for the next sale. Because honestly... I can raise him, and I needed the money, and it's fine. So, we sold his mama. We sold one of her herd mates. We named her Queen Elsa. Um, she had been confirmed pregnant, but she was, uh, she lost the baby. She was confirmed with one or two. Um, something bit me just now. She was confirmed with one or two. I saw her lose one. I didn't know if she was still pregnant, but they were larger breeds, too, and I really love how easy it is to manage um, smaller breeds, the Pygmies. I really love those. The Nigerian Dwarfs are good, too. So, I'm going to stick with those breeds. So, they were too big. I didn't know if she was still pregnant. Um, and honestly, I just... I lost money on her, too. All four of them sold for uh, like $130, $135 each. Um, now, Debbie, I did, I did just make a video about her. She got that feed bag stuck on her head. She had had something wrong with her foot for a good month, several weeks to a month. Um, she was hobbling on three feet. She would always hold that one foot up in the air. Um, and a long time ago, I picked like a um, thick piece of hay out of her foot, but she always held it up and would never walk on it. I got her on the stand many times. I trimmed her hooves. They were fine. She had no sign of hoof rot or foot scald. It didn't seem broken. I don't know what was wrong with it, but um, I did buy her from a local guy for twenty-five bucks. So I did end up making money, making about a hundred bucks on her. Um, but then between the money I lost on the other two, I pretty much broke even from the fourth one that I sold. Was um, here? I'll show you. See this white one right here? She's got like white with black eyebrows. I bought a three-pack, three-pack, I bought three of them, they look exactly the same, I think they're all like half-sisters from a gal, I think in Batesville, like maybe six months ago, and they were all supposed to be born in December, and um, the other two were getting bigger to where I felt like they were close enough I could breed them, but then um, she stayed really tiny, that third one, so... I didn't know what was wrong with her, but I felt like she was too small to breed. She was old enough, but I really didn't want to raise her another year and then breed her. So she, I don't know if she was stunted. Um, that farm may have also been um, low on selenium and not given the, the uh, selenium gel like I do. So it's just live and learn. But I sold those four, Oreo, Queen Elsa. I think we named that third one Sassy. And then the buck. We, he was a blue-eyed buck that I loved. But I never saw him breed the whole time he was here for the last six months. And then um, he just laid over and died. Goats don't even need a reason to die. They just literally, they can be fine one morning and dead that afternoon. So we lost those four. So that's nine total that I'm down. Um, so I'm down to 23. And that doesn't seem like a lot to y'all. Or it doesn't seem like I started with 30-something. Or I had 30-something. Anyway... I hate to let him go because I do love this farm, but I do think it's a smart business decision, and I also think it's smart just in the terms of doing what's best for my farm. I didn't love all those enough, 
And so I buy a lot of feed and a lot of hay. And I really just wanted to um, keep my favorites. So here's what I did. Here's what I'm, my plan for selling them was. I want to buy a goat ultrasound machine. And those are like 1000 to 1200 bucks. So I thought, I'll sell enough goats to buy a machine. And then I can ultrasound my favorite goats. And then I can keep those in the breeding program. And just kind of work with those on the farm. Um, when you have the ones that you love, you just it's just more fun. So anyway, we will grow our herd. I don't know if it will be on this farm or the next farm that we get one day. But... Um, so that's our plans. I made $477 after commissions. So I pretty much broke even or maybe made 20 or 30 bucks out of the whole group. Carol, uh, I mean, Debbie obviously made me the most money, but I, the little white one broke even. The other two, I lost 30 each, and then I had $50 in fees. So, wah, wah, it is what it is, but at least I didn't lose any money, really, I'm dollar for dollar on those goats. So, it's best that I have four less to feed. And I can use that money for something that would really, really benefit the farm. So, I will be, um, when I buy the ultrasound machine, I will be going and visiting other farms. I already have a list from people that have contacted me when I do get the ultrasound machine. That they'll um, want me to do their farms too. Ultrasound their sheep and goats. So, I think that will be really, really fun. It's something that I love to do. And it's a big investment for the farm, but um, if I can sell something to pay for it, I don't have to come out of pocket that money. So, just trying to be smart and wise with our money and um, just, you know, make good business decisions. It's not just a hobby farm. It really is like a plan B income. And it's something that my kids are involved in and they, they really love. And maybe one day they want to take it over. So, I want to really take good care of it. So, we're whittling it down. Um, not planning on buying anymore, but breeding what we have right now. Breeding season just started, so we'll have babies in about five months. Quite a few of them are still due that we'll be having babies this month and next month. And we'll just uh, be able to ultrasound the rest of them and kind of get them, get them going too on tracks to being mamas. Okay, well, anyway, this is uh, our video for today. Nine goats down. We have 23 now. And in this is... Penny and Karen with that little baby that we named Oscar. Anyway, I'm going to let the mamas out and then I'll just keep Oscar in here. I'll let them go graze or at least Karen. All right. Well, I will check in with you guys later, but this is the latest farm update. All right. See you guys later. Bye.